Hello everyone, Fez here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys some five tips that you may have not known or may not use in Warzone. And the fifth tip is going to be a loadout for you guys, the new, my, in my opinion, the new meta loadout in Warzone currently. So let's get started. First thing is fully loaded. If you don't know what fully loaded is, it's a perk on Modern Warfare weapons. It's called fully loaded. Now, the best thing to do is have one class that's fully loaded. Warzone Ghost fully loaded. That's what I call it. I don't use Ghost anymore. It's high alert right now. But thing is, fully loaded is really good because when you get your main loadout and then when you get this loadout, you can have any gun here that has fully loaded on it and then it, uh, and a pistol for SMG ammo with fully loaded on it. And then, yeah, you just get max ammo for SMG and AR. Boom. It's actually amazing. When you're in an emergency, this would be the class to get, obviously, because the guns aren't even bad. It's an A max ammo. And psycho that's what i'm using currently right but two modern warfare weapons fully loaded you get it that that's basically it it's, it's not that hard and it, it can save you a lot in warzone games so next is the best perks that you can use so for perk one it has to be cold-blooded because it stops combat scout which is very op right now and it does not trigger the high alert warnings so yeah it's actually amazing overkill for your main loadout but other than that you i would probably want a high alert because you could run Ghost, but Hyler's just gonna save you a lot. And I think Hyler's a very, like, I think Hyler's better than Ghost, but a lot of people just run Ghost over it. This new Tempered perk, I don't know about it. It's good, but I don't think it deserves to replace Hyler. So, yeah. And Call Scout, obviously, because it's OP. Talked about that. It's, it's actually OP. So OP. The next tip is settings. Now, the best settings, in my opinion, is this thing called bumper jumper tactical now most of you probably don't don't even know that this even exists you jump with l1 you use your tactical equipment at x you melee with the circle and you crouch with r3 and you slide with r3 obviously so it's actually it sounds weird but you're jumping with l1 so you can jump look around and slide all at the same time with this this setting you don't have to play claw you only have to play quality, use your heartbeat sensor. Basically, that's it. It's not that hard. And I would say to get used to this, because this is actually very good. This is one of the most, like, underrated things in this game, in my opinion, because no one knows about this. But it is so good. In my opinion, it's the best setting by far. So you should use this. So this tip is about landing a helicopter, which a lot of people actually don't know. So if you come over here, if you land a helicopter just like normal, right? So let's go up high first. We're gonna land a helicopter. You hold L2 or your like down button. And it takes quite a long time. It could take a long time. The fastest way to just land a helicopter is if you're high up, you switch seats and it will just fall. It will literally fall so fast. And you switch seats before you hit the ground. And boom, it works every time. You just have to make sure you don't actually crash the helicopter. Because look, either I can hold L2 and it takes a very long time Or I can just switch seats So much faster Instantly, goes down And it gets faster as it goes down So yeah, that's how you land a helicopter too Yeah Now the best loadout you can use Which is the last tip right here Is the FAR 83 I believe, I still love this gun by the way I still think it's as good, it's better than the C58 And stuff, if you can control the recoil Right, it's not that much recoil So don't worry Right here, and then the OTS-9. This gun is so good. This gun is amazing. This gun is so good right now. Trust me, this gun is amazing. You should use the OTS-9. It's better than most SMGs. The Modern Warfare MP5 is really good too, and the Bullfrog is really good too. Those are the other two viable options. Same with the Cold War MP5, but the OTS-9. This gun's crazy. And it's so underrated because no one uses it, but it's, it's simply just better. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a like for more. And yeah.